Hi everyone, this is Renixia, and welcome to a new game called Gone Home. I saw this, um, it was on the PlayStation Network, and I said to myself, this looks kind of interesting, so I'm gonna give it a go. And so, that's what I'm gonna do right now. So anyway, I don't know what the game's about, but it looks really interesting, and it reminds me of Ether 1. I actually did a walkthrough on it, and if you guys never saw it, check it out. But, um, I made a whole bunch of playlists, so I encourage everyone to check them out too, because I just made them the other day. But anyway, enough chit-chat, let's get started. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so, love you. See you soon. Bye. Oh, I can move now, okay. Oh, there's a body bag here. Well, not exactly a body bag. Caitlin Greenbrier. I guess that's my name. I'm from Portland. No, I'm going to Portland, my bad. That was two years after I was born. And I think when I was diagnosed. Wait a minute. I don't know. Something just... I don't know what's going on. Open the door. Hold L2 or up to look closer. Katie, I'm sorry I can't be in there to see you. But it is impossible. Please, please don't go digging around trying to find out where I am. I don't want mom and dad slash anyone to know. We'll see each other again someday. Don't be worried. I love you. Sam. Wait a minute. Why are you locked? I'm just going to be like a normal burglar and break into your window. Where's that freaking crowbar? I can't go back. This sucks. Surely there's something up. Surely there's something in here. Grab the Christmas duck. Why am I holding a Christmas duck? It's not even Christmas. It's about to be. <laughs> Can I pick it? Hey, why'd I drop the ducky? L2 to examine. To rotate. It's a ducky! It's so cute! But I don't need you. Okay, X is to apparently drop things and then pick it up. Blech. That's so funny. Oh, wait, what's this? Heh, <laughs> turn lamp on. So, you come here often? Well, that worked. Um... I guess I must just find some key or something, but... Where the heck is it? I can't find it anywhere. Oop. Maybe this soda can will give me a clue. Nope, you're useless to me. There has to be a key or something here. I can't unplug that. Oh, there's the key. It was right in front of my face. House key added the backpack. To check out the contents. Oh, I'm so pretty! Psych, that's the wrong number. A spirit key that was hidden in our old Christmas duck. I knew it! The duck was a lie! So, I guess I haven't explored a lot of these places, and apparently there is no sprinting game, which sucks, but I don't have to deal with it. Katie's departure, okay. I guess I'm Katie, I'm not sure. Sam, Daniel from the old neighborhood called. He wants to come see the new house. Call him back. Mom, Daniel is- <laughs> Mom, Daniel's a total weirdo! The only reason I ever hang out with him in the first place is because he had a Nintendo when we were little. Oh no, Lord forbid we have Nintendo! It's the only defense I got to hang out with the weirdo. Sam. Sam. Hello? Sam! Well, that sucks. Sam, where are you? Really? I need to talk to you. Uh-oh. Please be there. Hi, 
my mom, uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so love you. See you soon. Bye. Anything else? I guess that's it. Okay. <laughs> Thunder interrupts me, dang it. I don't like the reason it just told me to do that. But, okay. I'm gonna open the drawer. I do not need the back of cards. That's supposed to be me. <laughs> Ooh I don't know if I'm the daughter or the mother. I don't know how that goes. Blip. Oh, look, an obituary. Oscar Doc. It's the Doc. Hey, it's one of the postcards I sent. Hey, don't drop it. Stop it. I'm just trying to examine the card. Hi, Mom and Dad and Sam. I'm in Paris. I've done many Paris... Per Parison? I can't even read that. Hi, I'm in Paris. I've done many Paris things, including eating le petit de la Javon. I, I probably pronounced that awfully wrong. And wearing a box, a big set, a barret, barret. I'm going to have lots of film to develop when I get laid back. Or when I get back. Sam, I'm bringing you back something from the Shakespeare book company, since you are my favorite sister. Love you all, Katie. I, we're, I don't know. I freaking go. You can take your crappy French slash English accent with you. I don't freaking know. I'm just butthurt right now that I said all that completely wrong. Examine the paper. They say that a jack of all trades is master of none. I have to disagree. Mastery is not a question of specialization. Assuredness of the purpose and dedication to craft. If you happen to be in the market to be a combination of LDCD player, uh, you'll be glad to know that the pioneer seems to share this in particular. I'm so confused with what's going on right now. You can do better. You can do better. What if JFK, JFK wasn't JFK? Obsessed much? Okay, what's with this character's sudden, like, fascination with the killing of JFK? Do they finally know who did it? Onto the floor with you, you deserve that. Another paper. Too much reading time! I have to check every crack and fanny just to make sure everything's okay. I know I haven't made too much progress yet in this, but I, I guess this is actually supposed to be like a slow game, kind of like Ether 1 was, so. I don't know if it was made by the same guys, but. Wait, enter combination? I don't have a combination. This sucks. Dude, what? Oh, there's another flashlight, okay. Not a flashlight, a lamp. Sorry guys, I had a long day. Which, by the way, I'm gonna do a video for this soon too. I actually got a brand new 2016 Honda Fit. It is so freaking cool. Oh, she's pretty. Um, but I'll do a video just to show you what it looks like on the outside and the inside. It's just, it's so cool. It's only on lease, but... It is so cool. A stranger from under my roof. Is this because they only had a Nintendo? That's the only reason they were interesting. Whatever. I liked how the, that was the only thing I never had was a Nintendo. And I really wanted one. But I've been but I've been a PlayStation boy all my life pretty much. I've had a PS1, a PS2, a PS3, and a PS4, which I'm recording off of right now. Severe weather. This is a severe weather warning. Thanks for telling me now. Weather service reports high winds and torrential Sam thought this might help. Dad. Feeling lonely. It's a piece of cake to make friends. 
and Wistaria. Well, you're just a jerk then. You know that feeling where the first moment you see someone, it's like they have a big gold star around them, and you have to get to know them. Well, there's this girl. I think she's a senior. She's usually dressed kind of punk, but sometimes I see her in this, like, army uniform. She's always drawing in this notebook, looking so intense. I had no idea how I would ever, like, have an excuse to talk to her. Till I noticed she and her friends hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7-Eleven every day after school. I like how they just broke a whole bunch of fourth walls there. Where's the pizza? Ah. Uh, oh wait, hello. There's something right there. Coliseum, place of origin. Wow, they're really actually... Hey, Pulp Fiction, that's an awesome movie. I'm just going to stick you back on the couch. Um, Pulp Fiction was actually a pretty funny movie. Say what? Say what again? I double dare you, mother and father. Say it one more time. I'm not going to say the real thing, but... Can't read. No time. Got to keep moving on. Whoop, hello. I'm going to stick it in there. Oh, there's a freaking light. Admittingly, I love this kind of music. The heaven at the edge of the world, Samantha Greenbrier, Great Two Story, The Turtle People, Part One. What? Captain Allegra looked off at the ocean and it went forever. Or so it seemed. Someday she would find the edge and get to the paradise there. She then she heard a cannon fire. Boom! It was the black pirate ship. <gasps> the black pearl? Could it be the black pearl? I don't know. She yelled. I thought we lost him at the horse island. The first mate said. Looks like he thought too soon. The black pearl, I mean ship, came along the side. Captain Barbosa, I mean Jack, I mean Black, himself came out to the deck of the Black ship. He yelled to Captain Allegra. I must said Viagra, that'd been really bad. <laughs> You're never gonna find the edge. There ain't. Oh crap. No! There ain't no paradise, and your father were a liar. Captain Allegra, Allegra yelled back. Then why do you keep following us, you imbecile? The first mate yelled out, We'll stop you, Captain Black. We'll find the edge of the world and you'll see her father was no liar. The battle kept going until Captain Elijabra's ship got away. No way, she said, and the ship sailed towards the sunset. Aw, oh, isn't that just freaking cute? I am my English is so wrong today. Ooh, a painting. What's down this hallway, I wonder? Let's see what's behind door number six. I actually lost count, so I just made up that number. I've noticed their lights, their lights are very old school. What's with this person's, like, serious, like... Obsession with JFK? And the assassination? What is the meaning of this? Were they, like, related, or what's this deal here? Honestly, I don't think this is trying to be a horror game, but... Huh, who knows, it just might be. How I always knew that someday we see through Into the garbage can. NBA now score. Ain't hey, nobody got time to read. Apparently it didn't go well because the teacher only writes see me when something doesn't do good. It's electrifying. Flip. So much stuff to read. Katie, please tell mom and dad sorry about the stuff that's missing. Sam. 
Come play some goblins and dragons. Oh, of course that door's gonna be locked. Read crumpled paper. Katie, please, whatever you found, don't tell mom and dad. The attic? No, I'm not going in the attic. That's where monsters usually are cliched. So clichédly put as I put use my own Connorism vocabulary. Too much to read. I can't read it. I'll read it when I edit my videos so I understand what's going on. But it looks like... Did I look in here yet? No, just a thingy. Welcome, new student. Blah, 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 blah. Oh my god. You are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So, it's the first day of school, and there I am, introducing myself to the class. And I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. I just stood there, pushing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. <sighs> Great. That's not very nice. So pretty much what I've been able to gather is that apparently, for some odd reason, everyone's obsessed with JFK and his assassination. Are these the guys who tried to do it? Oh, that's something nice to see. No, no, I'm gonna cl I'm gonna wait on that one. Holy crap! Okay. Okay, I probably shouldn't go into that room just yet. That's a very beautiful, delicate picture of a burger puking. I don't think I'm gonna like where this is going. Okay, it's a little quiet in here. I can't read that. I'm, oh, there's a light switch, Herbiter. I'll try to read it again. Dear Mom and Dad and Sam, I am in the uh, in the channel. This is my second passage through the channel. I'm on my way back from London, this time by going to Brussels, Belgium. Sorry I didn't write to you on the way to London, but I was too excited about the channel. Shut up about the channel! London was great, Dad. I know you've always wanted to visit. I think you really should. You'd love it if you all... If you all wanted to come back here as a family sometimes, I guess I could be convinced. Love you all, Katie. I'm confused on what's actually happening right now. I think something happened, like she was in the military or... Hey, it's one of my favorite books. Heh, <laughs> is that business card from Satan? Um, it could be, actually. Oh, that's not cool. I'm just gonna shove you right back. Because apparently there's aliens involved. Could this be the Illuminati? Slenderman, are you interfering with the television again? Right. Aw, oh, mitten. Isn't that freaking cute? Whoa, my. Hey, look, it's a booby trap. <laughs> uh. Dirty underwear. Ew, what? That's gross. So grody, chody. Okay, what else we got? Does that even do anything? Is there anything in this house, that, house that's actually interesting? Besides the JFK assassinations, because Lord only knows. I don't need that. Put that back. 
Lord only knows I actually need most of this stuff. This, I'm not gonna lie, this is a really big house. Again, I'm not going into that room unless I absolutely have to. Oop, hello. Katie, Mom and Dad are going to make up the guest room for you to stay in over the summer, but you came home on such short notice that they weren't able to around to do it. You can use my room if you want. I won't be needing it anymore. Sam. That didn't sound good at all. I don't think. Ghost Hunter Journal. There's gonna be a ghost in this, isn't there? I'm already afraid of this as it is. So I'm guessing she got possessed because she... I'm guessing she was meddling with stuff in the afterlife, which is something you really shouldn't do. Well, that's freaking ominous. I'm not going there yet. Oh, no. I'm not doing this again. No. You stay away from me. Uh, after playing Laser Fear, I'm staying away from those. No, thank you. Nope, 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 nope. Holy crap, is it dark in here? Open sewing table. Well, that was completely pointless. Anyway. Hey, look, a closet. That's where my brother came from. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, if he ever sees this video, he's going to kill me. Dang, girl, that flipped, though. Looney, holy crap, I was in the library and noticed something in the corner. I found a secret passage and Oscar's Creek built stuff in it. OMG, I've got to see this. We're skipping sixth. What? Huh. Secret patch is marked on ma map. So apparently I have to go downstairs now. Okay, because that's a thing. Before I go though, Sam's dark room. Don't enter if red lights are on. Darn it, I was kind of hoping to get a jump scare from there, but... Screw you, I wanted a jump scare, whatever. Suckage. At least the lights are on. And that doesn't mean every single thing in the house gets to go off. Wait. Sam, stop leaving every beep light in the house on. You're as bad as your sister. Daniel called again. He wants his Nintendo game back. Daniel called. What's with Daniel? To whom it may concern, I, Samantha Greenbar, am 17 years old and therefore independent, fully and functional human being. The fact that you still forbid me to going into the city on my own is frankly absurd. Compared with Katie, who is only three years older than me, and yet you allowed her to go all the way back across an ocean to another content, continent on her own, I just want to spend an evening in a normal, totally safe city on my own like a human being. And since you may also remember that I have my own car now, you can't really stop me. Warmest regards, your daughter, Samantha. Wait a minute. Sternly worded letter. So stern. I pray I don't die if I come in here. I thought that door closed behind me for a minute. It's all good. Hi, Loney. I wrote this first period. Blah. <laughs> So much paperwork. Uh oh. Um, Mr. Benchley observed Miss Dito observed wearing a t shirt with an unacceptable image for a large being labeled Faf's Blue Ribbon. Miss DeSoto was sent to the guidance counselor's office. Miss DeSoto is given the option to turn her shirt inside out, change into a shirt with her gym locker, or be suspended for the rest of the day. Miss DeSoto chose to suspension. Her father was called, but there was no answer no answering machine. Miss DeSoto must return this form tomorrow, signed by her father. Oh, that's actually kind of sad. I'm guessing her father passed away. Grab Steggy, Steli. 
Steggy! I like a little Steggy. You know what? Steg, you're gonna come on with me. We're gonna go on an adventure. Awesome pirate flag, by the way. I want to believe. What is this guy? An Illuminati enthusiast? No, I dropped Steli. Darn it! I don't know the combo. Come on, Steli. We're gonna go on an adventure together. Steli. Steli. Fine, I'll drop you. Sorry, I have to drop you, Steli. I'm I'm terribly sorry. Now I'm gonna pick you up again because you're so cute, Steggy. Blech. There's something back there. Mitten. Oh, it's a doggy collar. 1888. I gotta remember that. 1888. Would that happen to be the combo for this? 18. 88? Darn it! I thought that would work. Oh well, you win some, you lose some, but it's gotta be here somewhere. Okay. I'm gonna take Steggy with me on a glorious adventure. Oh, I don't want to flip you around. I guess we're just going to head downstairs for now, I think? I think so? Well, everyone, this has been Renixia. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, I made some pretty good progress here. I explored most of the house already, and I don't see anything other than that. I'm just going to have to keep looking around. But I got little Steggy here, so he's going to keep me company for my next episode. And I'll see you all in it. Bye-bye! Yeah. Uh -huh.